morning guys we are in Springfield Massachusetts it is I believe Saturday morning we got a lot of stuff to do here in Springfield today we're on our way back heading home but we pulled off here at Springfield and now we got a whole day planned today it's pretty cool stuff I, I think we're gonna have a good time today first thing I got to show you is this place I'm not gonna tell you what it is now if you look up there's that big thing it's kind of a really neat looking building what happened is we stayed at the Hilton Garden Inn which is right next door and then there's this place the building's huge I don't know if any of you guys know what this is you're a different cat if you know what this is because I sure as heck didn't know this was here all right, I'm gonna go take you over here and I'll show you. I'll show you the sign on the building on the side. All right, hang on a second. All right, now we're <clears throat> over towards the entrance. I don't know if you can see this kind of stuff. There's a subway here. It's kind of strange. Okay, hang on. I gotta extend this pole thing out more. Hang on. All right. Here we are at the entrance. Ready? This is the big reveal. There it is. The Basketball Hall of Fame, Springfield, Massachusetts. All right, I'll be honest with you. We're not going in here. I could kind of care less about this building. I'm not much of a basketball fan. Although I do really, Sarah and I both get into watching the uh, um, March Madness stuff. We always do the brackets for March Madness, but that's not this. This is the pro stuff. I, I'm, I don't know. I really don't care much for pro sports in general. College sports, I, I enjoy watching, but not this. So there you go. I'm not going to show you the inside of that building. Not going to do it. All right. I got to go get another cup of coffee. Sarah's still sleeping. It's kind of early. So I'm going to sit down here and have a cup of coffee. Maybe work on editing a video. All right, we'll show you what our, our day is later. We got some neat stuff going on today. All right, bye. All right, Springfield, Massachusetts. Somehow or another, this is the home of Dr. Seuss. So we're sneaking into this place. They're not open yet, it's too early. Dr. Seuss Sculpture Garden. Morning. Okay, so I don't know what the heck is going on, but this, this, I don't know if Dr. Seuss, I don't know, grew up here, lived here, I don't know what, well, you got to stop here when you come to Springfield, Massachusetts. Yertle the Turtle. Why does that not ring a bell? So that's Yertle the Turtle. Kind of a neat place. We're not going to go in the museum. We're just kind of walking around the sculpture garden, see what they all have here. It's pretty neat. Museum of Natural History is what this place is. Is that the Lorax? So that's the Museum of Natural History. Uh -oh. There it is if you're interested. It's kind of a neat little plaza here. 
or park or whatever you call it. I don't know. What the heck is that tree? The tree's got like hardly any bark on it. We saw one of those at Arlington too that had zero bark on it. And it was imported from Africa or something. I don't remember. Look at that. No bark on it. We'll blame it on the squirrels. Ah, there's a Grinch. And his trusty dog. Yeah, you gotta sit. <laughs> we'll have to get a picture of that. I don't have my phone on me though. This must be Dr. Seuss. Well, isn't this cool? Yeah. I don't know what that elephant's called, but I'm sure he's got a name. I don't remember Dr. Seuss. That was a long time ago. Dr. Seuss is great. Dr. Seuss is awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Thing one and thing two. Yeah. <laughs> thing one and thing two. That's pretty neat. I think we should get our picture in front of thing one and thing two. I don't know how we're going to do that, though. Well, I tell you what, this is a really neat area. It is. The George Walter Vincent Smith Art Museum. Well, that's a heck of a name. George Walter Vincent Smith. I wonder who that is. I should probably, maybe that's Dr. Seuss. I, I don't know. So there you have it, folks. Cool. All right. We're going to go down the road and... Head to our next stop here in Springfield, Massachusetts. Look at that, guys. That old tractor. That that's that is a really rare old tractor. It's a Silver King. That that's a. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it's just sitting here. I think somebody would have that thing in a museum somewhere. Tins all straight on it. Boy, that's a nice shape. I bet you it doesn't run, but it's still really cool. All right, so this is our, our next stop. Look at that old Ford truck. I bet that was a, that's supposed to be a dually. Okay, so while you're in Springfield, Springfield, Massachusetts is, how do I say, is the home of Indian Motorcycle. This is where Indian Motorcycle was started. started, was in Springfield. So this is the big, I shouldn't say big, but this is a dealership in Springfield, Massachusetts, the Indian dealership. So we are... We have to stop. Probably have to get a dealer t-shirt if they have one. It's a pretty small building actually. I was, I'm kind of surprised. Okay, let's go in and check this place out. Okay, we're done here at Springfield, Massachusetts Indian Dealer. We met some amazing people inside of here. Very. And he told us a pretty cool story about some some of these old bikes that he's got. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in this video, or if I'm gonna put it into a different video on itself because we sat and talked with him for probably 20 minutes on camera just about the bikes. Great people. Yeah, pretty nice neat dealership. Uh, we spent three hours. Almost three hours here at the dealership just. Walking around talking with these guys. Okay, we got to go get something to eat. Starving. We didn't have breakfast yet. Okay, bye. Hey, guys. So we made it to 
Buffalo, New York. We're gonna keep going. We just had to stop for supper. We're actually at a place called Buffalo's Best Grill. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty good. So we are actually in Orchard Park where they have had huge, tremendous amounts of snow in the last month. So we kind of decided to go out of our way to come up over here just so we can see the snow because I've never seen 15 feet of snow or 18 feet, however much they've had. We are really just kind of disappointed because if you look out here, there's freaking grass. A little bit of snow here, a little snow over there. There's some snow piles, but there's no freaking snow here. Uh, hey, that's the way it goes, I guess. We were hoping for a lot more than this. Just, I've never seen that much snow before. All right. How was supper? It was very, very good. Yeah. It really was. So, so if you're in Buffalo, New York, Orchard Park, there's a place to look up. Buffalo's Best Grill. Pretty good. Yeah, it was very good. Not the cheapest of all the places, but... Mm, not the worst either. Not the worst. It was what? About Thir 36 50, bucks for the two of us. 15 bucks a meal. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. No. It's a lot better than what we've been having. Yeah. All right. We're going south. We're going to see if we can hit Erie, Pennsylvania tonight. We'll see. What time is it? 8.15. Oh yeah, quarter after eight. We're gonna see if we can hit Erie, Pennsylvania. We'll see. All right, bye. Bye. We are at Irving, New York. It's something like 30 miles south of Buffalo. So we stopped here on a motorcycle <coughs> on our way in September only because we saw this big Indian guy here. So we had to take a picture of the Indian motorcycle in front of the Indian. So this place is pretty cool. It's got a, well, it's a, it's a gas station for starts. Behind the gas station back here, they have a drift track where they drift cars. Oh, I should have went over that way. But here's the, they got this big drift track back here where they, they race cars and do drifting and all that whatever stuff. We, when we were here in September, they were having a, a big contest or something that night, but we did stick around for it. They had to get home. So this is their drift track, race track thing they got. About this, this uh, gas station. Okay, it's on the Indian reservation. They have really cheap cigarettes. You can buy cigarettes for 25 bucks a cart. But if you get 10 gallons of gas at the gas station, then you get a free joint in their dispensary, which is right next door. It's over there. 10 gallons of gas, they give you a free joint. I'm not going to say one way or another what we did tonight. If we got one or not, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not allowed to have that stuff, so that probably answers your question. Because of my job and all my random drug testing that I can... That, that, that I get random drug tested. And we just happened to fill up the gas tank about yeah. 50 miles before we got here. <laughs> yeah, so we, we didn't qualify for a free joint. But we stopped here again. It's, it's kind of weird because on this little road and the next road that's a quarter mile over, it is full. There, there must be eight or nine dispensaries just right here in this little area. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. So we are... Okay, we are, we're south of Buffalo a little bit. It's New Year's Eve. We're in kind of a crappy little hotel. It's a Best Western, but it's kind of crappy. This bed's pretty small for the two of us. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll make do. 
So 2022 has been kind of an interesting year for us. For the most part, it's been a pretty good year. Yeah. I've been healthy this year. Sarah got diagnosed with cancer in February. Head surgery. Had chemo. Went through a bunch of chemo. Went through a bunch of radiation. All's good. She's healing and doing fantastic. She's a trooper. So that, that part of it's been a pretty long summer. Having to deal with that. Yeah, it's been a long year. Fuck cancer. Yep. Other than that, we've had a really good year. <coughs> we went on three pretty big vacations, I guess. Yep. In June. Middle of June, we had a grandson born. And we pretty much immediately took off and jumped on a bike and rode 1,129 miles and got to Maryland. And we happened to get there before the boy got home from the hospital. So we spent a week in Maryland. Hung out with the granddaughter, Marlena, who, who you've seen in a couple videos. And we got to meet our grandson, John. Got to spend my birthday with Marlena. Yep. On, yeah, on she has a birthday. Yep, Marlena and Sarah have the same birthday. And then we rode home. We saw some pretty neat stuff that trip, but we spent most of it at their house in Maryland. September, which is when we started taking these video things. We were gone for a week and a half, and you guys kind of saw all that stuff. But we took a big bike trip. Went through 18 states. I don't remember, 3,800 miles or something? Maybe about that. Rode down through West Virginia and Virginia and Maryland and Delaware. All the way up through and hit Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont and back to Wisconsin. That was a fun trip. I saw the most beautiful things. Yeah. Just... Being on a bike is a lot of fun. You, you get to see all sorts of different things and experience things differently on a bike. And now this trip that we're on, we got to spend Christmas in Maryland again. And we're just kind of screwing around now for four or five days. We went through Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Boston, Salem, New York. A little bit in New York. We screwed around some. We're, we're not home yet. We're 800 miles yeah. from home, I think it is. But that's what these videos are about. So all in all, 2022 has been an interesting year. So we sit here in a hotel on New Year's Eve. 10.44. Yeah. It's just, yeah, 10.44 at night, and we're going to go to bed. We're tired. We're going to get up early and truck at home tomorrow. Get home so we can have a day off before we go back to work and pay for all of this stuff. Oh, what else? We're pretty thankful for everybody that is in our life. Very. There's some wonderful people in our life. Family and friends. Yeah, it's been a good year. Sure has. Overall. We're fortunate that we have a couple grandkids right in Wausau with us that we get to spend a lot of time with. Excited to get to see them again tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we get Lily <laughs> and Kinsley and Willow, the three granddaughters right in the Wassa area with us. So we spend a lot of time with them, which is pretty, we're, we're pretty thankful for. Yeah. I feel very fortunate that we got to see Marlena and John 
few times this year. It's been pretty neat. Yeah. It's hard having them so far away, but at the same time, it gives us a reason get to get out. out. Yeah, we've experienced a lot of stuff this year. We have seen a lot of the East Coast. There's a lot of stuff that we'd like to see still, but another day maybe. I don't know where we're going on our next vacation yet. We don't know yet. A lot of stuff off my bucket list this year. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. pretty wonderful. Real wonderful. So anyway, we just want to say hi. Tell you guys that we're all, we're doing okay. We are thankful for all of you guys. One, for being our family, for being our friends, and for watching these silly videos that we put out there. I guess that's it. Hopefully you guys had a good year, and hopefully 2023 is... Much better. Much better for everybody. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.